If someone were to describe you in a word or a phrase, how would they do that? How would you do that if you just stopped for a second and honestly answered that? And I think the challenge, one, is trying to be completely honest and authentic and real despite the fear or the pain that it might cause to answer that question. I think what's even more important is that we have an idea and a sense of self of who we are and who we want to be. And it's when we aren't that way, the way that we perceive ourselves or the way that we want to be, that we begin to deal with a lot of inner conflict. And for, for me in my own life, you know, I would describe myself as consistent and upbeat, right? There are different synonyms for those terms, but those are the ones that I would use. And I think that I would bet that people would describe similar words to describe me. And what's interesting is that when I'm not that way, I don't feel that I'm, that I am being authentic or that because I'm not being that way in that moment that there's something wrong with me and I begin to overanalyze that. And, you know, as much as I recognize that I can't always be that way, it's who I want to be on average. And I fight for that homeostasis as often as I can from the moment I wake up to the moment I go to sleep. It's why I work so hard. It's why I study so hard to be a better person a better business owner, a better father, a better husband. And I just can't help but think about, you know, the struggle that we all deal with on the inside of, you know, who it is that we want to become. And if we're not there, feel like we're moving in that direction, it causes a lot of issues in our life. And we begin to overcompensate through external uh, circumstances or honestly a negation of that just completely ignoring it hoping that it's going to go away and for my own life i um i recognize that i can i'm too uh, i'm too unwilling to just be mediocre or not feel like i can live up to who it is that i want to be that i've created myself no one's done that for me no one's forced that pressure on me you know i didn't have parents that were you know, very difficult or demanding on me. I didn't, you know, I didn't have these crazy expectations that people put on myself. I did that to myself and I'm okay with that. I really am. I just recognize that life is so freaking short. And if we don't, we don't take the time every single day to really elevate ourselves. And why are we doing this? What, why are we just working around this hamster wheel and just you know I call it like some days just feel like groundhog's day and it's just like we get stuck in that motion and that routine I'm I thrive on routine but sometimes it eats me up because I don't feel like that that maybe that routine isn't allowing me to really be fully authentic and be who I really want to be because you know I spend so much time helping other people that if I, if I don't create time in my own day, then I can't work on myself. And if I can't work on myself, how can I give to other people? And there is some interdependence there that I think we sometimes forget because we're so, we're, we're in that, that routine that, that we just get stuck on sometimes. And sometimes you got to jump off the, the, the rat race. Sometimes you got to get off the treadmill. Sometimes you just completely got to do something totally different to really um, step back a little bit. You know, I what I did last week was like I was feeling like I was stuck in my routine and I was going to go like 12 hours straight of working from four in the morning to later in the afternoon. And I needed something in the middle of the day to break that grind. And I uh, did a, a float therapy session and it was great. It was something I would never do. It stepped me away and made me pause on everything else I'm doing in my life for that moment. And I wonder what other opportunities I'm missing to step back a little bit, to really just kind of absorb the moment 
um, or we just get lost in it. And, and so I challenge you is, you know, who are you, you know, is simplified as in a word or a phrase and who you want to be. You know, are we directing our paths in that direction to completely or to consistently, excuse me, consistently elevate ourselves to be that person? Thanks for listening.